Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review of One Piece Chapter 803. So, in this week's chapter of One Piece, we got surprisingly a lot of good stuff, but you know what, I'm not really going to talk about the chapter as a whole, because it's in section, so I'm not going to talk about it like that. I'm going to talk about each specific thing for like two or three minutes in section. So why don't we start off with the part where all we care about the most, Monkey D. Dragon. So in this chapter of One Piece, we get to see Koala talking to, to the leader of the Revolutionary Army and Luffy's father, Monkey D. Dragon. <coughs> now, I honestly, I did not expect this, but the way Dragon is talking to Koala, <coughs> Seems like a lot of the way the, the Atlas Seer feels very similar to the one you got when Whitebeard was talking to a rock star. Like, it feels like they're preparing for something. <coughs> but, so Dragon and Koala are talking. And, you know, Koala mentioned smuggled weapons. You know, they have all the smuggled weapons. Dragon talked about the other countries. And how, you know, just how they're faring without the flamingo. But, he then mentioned something. He then, this is what surprised me. He mentioned Robin, but not Luffy. <coughs> he showed no interest in Luffy. At all. He was, he was more concerned about Robin than Luffy. Now, I understand, considering his goal, Robin is more valuable. Because Robin can read the Poneglyph. I'm not an idiot, I get that. But still, that's his own son. So this does make it kind of clear that he may not care too much about Luffy. <coughs> it's obvious he cared more about his goal, considering he left Luffy alone with Garp, and Garp is freaking insane. But then again, Ivanko did describe Dragon and Impel Down to be insane. So, yeah, she didn't exactly say he was the most sane guy, but he's careful. But, so Dragon made a comment to Koala. Dragon told Koala he wanted her to assemble and bring all the Revolutionary Army leaders to him. So apparently it's not just Dragon and Sabo at the top. Dragon had other people that are high in the ranks. Like, leaders. People, like, as strong as, if not stronger than Sabo. Alright? Working with him. He's working with a ton of revolutionary leaders. That, or, I'm not sure what that meant. Did that mean leaders of other armies? Or leaders of other divisions of the revolutionary army? <coughs> and a dragon, like, the supreme commander? We don't really know. Because we know nothing about how all this works. But... I do know one thing for sure. Dragon is a boss. Alright? Because he just, the way he looked, that facial expression, was so badass. I was like, whatever these revolutionary armies are capable of, they are all deadly. You could tell by Dragon's face, it indicated these guys are powerful. But besides that, there's not much really to talk about with Dragon for the review, because I do have things I will be discussing in a video tomorrow about what I think, you know, some of these things meant. But that's for a whole other, <coughs> a whole other video. So let's move on to the next biggest part of the chapter. Blackbeard! So Blackbeard wasn't in this chapter, but two of his crew members were. Now, while well, Shiryu and Lafayette did talk, there didn't seem to be anything major going on in their conversation. They, 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 really, they were really just complaining about how Burgess hadn't made it back yet. So that was really any dialogue between them was more just character interaction than anything else. Like, they didn't mention anything about power, or weapons, or plot. It was more just like what I think it was Shiryu who said, he was cheering and he said, he said, that goddamn virgin. Yeah, he, he's so late, what the hell is he doing? That's exactly what he said. Because they obviously did not know what happened yet. So, 
Well, they do know what happened. They don't know what happened with Burgess. They do know that Flamingo was defeated by Luffy. <clears throat> but, so, after, like, a page of them talking, they get a call on a transponder snail. And this is a big deal, guys. Burgess is, was, dead, was talking about how he found it. And they were like, you found what? Where the hell are you? And he was like, where I, I'll give you my location, tell Cap, tell Captain T, it said Admiral T, in the manga train translation, that is obviously incorrect, Blackbeard is not an Admiral, but it said, so they pretty much said, bring, so what he pretty much said was, get Blackbeard and the rest, and, and the entire crew, and all of our divisions, everything, get it all over here right freaking now, and so they're like, where the hell are you, he's like, I, and then he makes a proclamation. Jesus Burgess had found Dragon's base. He found the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army. Now this is a big deal because if you remember, prior to Marine Ford, Shafter before that, like right after Water Seven, there was a scene. No, before Water. No, it's right after Water Seven, I think. Right? Yeah, there was a scene. A quick scene, no, right after Skypea, there was a scene with Rockstar. Yeah, and Rockstar was talking to, um, Whitebeard. He was delivering a letter, and Whitebeard, you know, he ripped up the lever and was complaining, like, what the hell gives this, that red hair the right to send me a freaking letter? If he wants to tell me something, he'll come here and he'll say it to my face. I am Whitebeard. But, <coughs> That's what white beard. That's what happened then. <coughs> and then, I got hundred, a little bit over, a, like over a hundred chapters later, after the end of Water Seven and any lobby, Shanks and White Beard met, and then we got that little conversation between him and White Beard. Like you know, I want like when they talked and they talked about Buggy, and they talked about all that, and then he mentioned I want you to stop Ace, and then you know they clashed. And, you know, we never saw the rest of it. <clears throat> yeah. So there was that. But, I feel that this scene is the equivalent to the rock star giving the letter to Whitebeard scene. And it's the catalyst. This is what is going to start. The event that will eventually lead to the war. I'm positive about that. Because these are two of the world's strongest forces. The revolutionaries who are led by a guy... That have the right to go around saying, Bitch, please. You're the strongest? People are terrified of me and I haven't done, even done anything yet. I mean, I know I just copied a meme. I know I did, but that meme is hilarious. So I did it. But, Dragon is so powerful. The meme is right. People are terrified of him. And he hadn't done anything. That said something about Dragon's power. So... This, and Blackbeard would have been Yoko, meaning he's one of the four strongest pirates in the world. Arguably, as I said in my list I made like a month or two ago on the, you know, top, on the strongest Yokos in order. I do believe Blackbeard is the weakest Yoko at the moment, but that is obviously going to change because he's the final villain. At least second the final villain or final, I'm not really sure where I stand on that. But he's definitely either the second to last. Or the final villain. It's, it's either him or Akainu. Let's be honest. That's fact. <clears throat> but. What happens here. Is that. Blackbeard and um. So the Blackbeard pirates. Are pretty much. Obviously I guess going to go to the revolutionary army base. Will we see it? Probably not. Because this is Oda. And he's probably going to troll us. And not show it. Or probably like a hundred chapters, and he'll just leave it hanging like he did with Whitebeard and Jason's fight. Like he kind of just left it on a cliffhanger. Like you know, both those Joe Blackbeard and Dragon like having an argument, and then they'll like be about to attack each other, and then we'll switch over to Luffy fighting. I don't know some guy on Low or some guy on Wano or something, or maybe Luffy taking a bath. I don't know. Or the Nami fan service. We'll switch over to something really stupid. Probably Nami fan service just to get Oda that much of a troll. I will be like, oh, you wanna see you wanna see this? Well no, you have to look at Nami tits. But you know. 
that's obviously what Oda's going to do. But let's talk now about the other things in the chapter. The, my main opinion on the whole Blackbeard and the Dragons thing are for another video. But yeah. So let's talk about Zoe, the Straw Hat, Bartomeo, and Buggy in the next part of the chapter. I mean, the review, what chapter? I mean, review. What the hell is wrong with me? There was no way in words to express how happy I was when we got to see the future Pirate King once again. We got to see our Lord and Savior, Bug. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so we got to see Buggy. Big deal. Nice, I guess. <coughs> I mean, it seems that people are going to Buggy for weapons or something. I really, I was so hyped. I kind of just skimmed it. And whenever I reread the chapter, I can't honestly focus on it. Because I'm so focused on all the other things. So we did get to see Buggy. Him and his crew seem to be doing fine, you know. We got to see that Buggy being God. Being, you know, hail of the God. <laughs> Still. But, <coughs> I did notice one thing. The giant were apparently working for Buggy. I know, right? Because remember, he, he said the giant that was from Dressrosa, I forgot his name, had left. You know, he wasn't coming back. He wasn't responding and he wasn't coming back. And then, he, he was like, okay, we still have four more. Those other four had left. I remember what he, the giant said. He was going to get, uh, he was going to pick up his four friends and then they would meet up and then they would go on adventure. But they'd be waiting, waiting Luffy call for assistance at any time. <clears throat> so yeah, that happened, but you know what? I really personally want to talk about the Straw Hat and Zo and all of that, and Bart, because I got a lot to say about that. So unlike I've been telling you guys, most the, ma the majority of people that wanted, didn't want Bart on the crew, or didn't think he would join, were correct, I was wrong. But I'm a great Bellamy wasn't joining. I was right about that. Because nobody freaking won Bellamy to join the Straw Hat. I was right about that. So yeah. I was also right about Luffy's bounty. So yeah. And I was like 20 off for the 20, two, 20 million off the road. But whatever. <coughs> now let's talk about the actual thing. So Bartolomeo, of course, being Bartolomeo. Ends up with some BS reason why he can't stay with the straw hat. I mean, I think Oda could have done with a better reason, but it's good enough, I guess. I can't stay in the presence of my god, of, of my nine gods, any longer. Now, do I doubt Bartolomeo probably would worship the straw hat to the level of this, to a religious level? No, I do not doubt that at all. But I believe an actual explanation to why could have been better. Is it? <coughs> but whatever. But you know, so, so when Bartolomeo was praising them and thanking them for everything, they ignore him. By the way, Robin said all Robin's only line of dialogue in the entire chapter was so cute. I thought that was very weird. All he did was think the entire chapter so cute. <coughs> I find that weird. And that was her only line of dialogue in the chapter with her thing with. A monologue of her going, cute! Like, and she was just looking. I mean, she it also appeared to be blushing a little bit. I don't know what that was about. I don't know what Oda was going for with that, but whatever. <coughs> and now, I actually wasn't, haven't read any of the manga during when you're sailing before. I started in the middle of Dracarosa. So maybe this is normal for a, Sir Robin when they're not fighting. In the manga, maybe it's something Oda always does, like have her, have her blush and just randomly and just think the same word repeatedly as it being so cute. But what a, the anime doesn't do that, but whatever. <coughs> but the point I try to make here is that, is that they were ignored completely. The Straw Hats are just doing their thing, they're talking, and... Kanjiro creates a dragon, and then you then they try to use it to fly up the elephant's leg, but it, it doesn't work, so they end up climbing. 
But in the beginning of the chapter, when they had they had met up with the thousand sunny, confirming that we were all right, Sanji, Nami, Chopper, and Brooke are ninety nine point nine percent confirmed to be on the. Like the chances of them leaving the sunny behind in any situation, like abandoning the ship and going off to a completely different island, like if they were going, if they stopped at that island and were leaving, they're not going to leave without the study. Alright, they're not. Because, one, that's not their call to make, that's Luffy's call, but you know what I mean. Like, it's not their call to decide whether or not they're going to get rid of the ship and abandon it. That's Luffy. Unless Luffy said we're abandoning the ship, they have to protect the ship. But, well, then again, they're the straw hat, they probably don't care what Luffy thinks, they're just going to try to survive. But, so... 99.9% .9 confirmed, Nami, Chopper, Brooke, Momonosuke, and, uh, Sanji. Saying he's so irrelevant and useless and weak at this point, I go to remember his name sometimes. I do plan on doing a video eventually on Sanji since the time skip and what I think of it. <coughs> I'll just need to find a time where nobody is, where I'm completely and utterly alone, and it's probably going to be my most vulgarity video of all time, because I have some interesting thoughts on Sanji since the time skip. <clears throat> but, the point I'm trying to make here is that whoever, you know, <coughs> whoever was the first person to say they're on though, congratulations, here's a cookie. I mean, what else am I going to do? But, so, Kanjiro does mention though, their other, you know, their other colleague, their friend, is a freaking ninja. I mean, that's awesome. Ninjas in One Piece. They're probably gonna be, I actually have a feeling we're gonna get the Naruto references. I have a feeling we... <coughs> I, mean, I actually had an idea where maybe Oda will make the character break, be like Deadpool, and like break the fourth wall all the time. And he'll break the fourth wall constantly, and mention things about Naruto. Like, that would be hilarious. <coughs> or mention things about Kishi. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Oda did something like that, knowing Oda. Or make him break it, like, one time, and make, like, a Naruto joke. You know, indirectly. Like, maybe. Because, you know, there have been a reference throughout Naruto and One Piece. Mainly, when Naruto and his, Nar uh, Kishimoto, if you remember, he said he called up Oda on the phone and was like, are you okay with me using the straw hat guy, Roger? Can I put that on uh, Naruto's forehead? And he, and Oda was like, of course. And Oda was like, sure, I don't care. And then he, uh, and he was like, can I use the Naruto stuff? And he was like, sure. And then he, like, you know, drew like the hidden leaf pattern and everything on on Nami. He, he, you know, he made that cover. Oda then made the cover page with like Nami, Luffy, and Chopper. He gave Nami that dress that was completely covered in the leaf symbol. He gave Luffy the bowl of ramen, and then there was, uh, no, Chopper wasn't in it. There was a fox eating ramen with Naruto. I mean, with Luffy, and the fox was, you know, representing Naruto because of the ramen, and it was filled with, like, Naruto references. So, yeah, I could definitely see him, like, re at least referencing Naruto. Maybe. I mean, he's quite a good ninja character. Come on, you can't not reference Naruto in a ninja character. But, you know, but let's not talk about, you know, my ninja thing. But that's awesome. But let's quickly just talk about the fact that it looks like the Straw Hat crew is together again. Thank God. I quickly want to give my thoughts on that. If they're on the same island, if we get confirm <coughs> confirmation next chapter that Sanji's on though, I will expect by the end of October, for then to have met each other and been together for at least three chapters. I'm expecting by the end of October, there's going to be at least be two chapters, at least two, of the Straw Hats together again. It's getting ridiculous. They were separated for, for Amazon Lily, Impel Down, and Marine Ford. In one piece time, that's over two years, being Marine Ford, Amazon Lily, that could not. That was like two, three weeks. Nearly a month. Plus recovery. 
apocalyptic recovery and the tri new apocalyptic recovery to the point when he could leave the island and go deliver the message. Yeah, that was the over two years. When you really think about it, they were they trained for two years. They were separated for way more than th at least two years than like a month and a month. A little bit over that. Like they were separated for a long time. So and just they just got back together at Fifth Man Island. You have to realize, no matter how crazy this is, in One Piece time, it's been a week since Fifth Man Island. <laughs> I mean, it didn't take them like more. It didn't take them <coughs> even a week to get to Fifth Man Island. It's been like what two days at the most, like maybe <coughs> maybe a day. So they haven't even been back together for a month, and they've already been separated again. It's ridiculous. Oh, by the way, it's been a week to the fight with Doflamingo. It's been a week. So, they get that together and then they're separated for a week. It's ridiculous. I mean, Oda, stop separating the crew. <coughs> I get it. I'm happy he did it, though, because, let's all be honest, Dressrosa would have been crazy if they hadn't all been, you know, separated. But, I have some good news. The good news is that I will be doing a live stream tomorrow. I'll be releasing a video with text that will be explaining what time it will be starting. I don't know what time I'll release it. I'll probably do it during school. Like, I'll probably throw it together during lunch or something. Because, you know, it's a text. It's a, it's a picture with text. It's easy to do. And then I'll stream that day. But, <coughs> but, um... Besides for that, there isn't really much else for me to talk about, so I'm going to quickly give my rating for the chapter, once again, a 9 out of 10. No. 10 out of 10. This chapter is 10 out of 10. I loved it. Honestly, besides for Bartolomeo not joining, I thought it was a perfect chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And follow me on... And if you want to follow me on Twitter... The link to that will be in the description box down below. Also, head over to my ask.fm and ask me any about anything you want. Because I would love to make a, a YouTube video where I answer ask.fm questions. I would love to do that. But I first I need enough questions to do so. So stop by there. But I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. One Piece Nation, signing out.